Well, I think we found some common ground. You're happy? Ecstatic. Good. All right, so I want you to think about all the good things that life has to offer. Okay, great sex, mm. great food, beautiful place to enjoy it all in. Me. Mm. I like that picture so far. Yeah. Okay, I want you to think about one more picture. What's that? You, all alone, mm -hmm. bleeding to death in some gutter somewhere. Seriously, Which you're gonna. Which you like better? You're gonna do this right now, really? Johnny, I'm just saying. <laughs> Why don't you just drop this stupid vendetta thing with Sonny? Just let him be miserable. He's good at it. Okay, he's already paying a price. Okay, see, no, that's where you're wrong. Everybody else around Sonny, everybody who loves him, they always pay the price. His family, his kids. For God's sake, look at Michael. He's going to prison for the guy. And now Sonny's going to walk away, scot-free. That's not going to happen anymore. Okay, you know what? I love you. You know I do. But this hatred you're carrying around is changing you. And that's for the better. Ethan! If you want me to take off, I can. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> We're past all that, remember? I'm not exactly in any position to judge anyone right now. Are you in some kind of trouble? It's not because of me, is it? No, no, nothing like that. No, I'm legitimately the one to blame this time. Is there anything I can do to help? I do pretty much owe you big time. <laughs> you, don't, you don't owe me anything, but I appreciate the offer, though. Maybe you could just tell me about it. I mean, if you want. It helps to talk about things sometimes. Trust me. Basically, I screwed up to the tune of a very large sum of money. And uh, I have a few options, you know, a few ways to fix it, but I've been strongly discouraged from using the best one. Discouraged by who? By Luke. You know, he's afraid that that if I work with this friend of mine, that I'll get hurt or wind up dead. Sorry, but I'm with your dad on this. I'd rather have you alive. Thank you for that. Just the Valkyrie. So for a while, while I was trying to get out of town, I borrowed a few items from the quarter mains and pawned them for some quick cash. But I ended up sticking around. So when I went back to buy the items, it, Retail was twice the wholesale, so I had to borrow a little money from the Haunted Star. That's kind of a lot of borrowing. Yeah, right? So I used that money to buy back the items and then the rest to finance this little forgery scam I had, but the buyer backed out at the last minute, so I ended up losing all of it. I could probably get you some money from Nicholas. I could just say it's for me. No, 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 that's sweet of you, but there's no way I'd involve you in this. And I'm not taking a dime from Nicholas that I don't steal with my own hands. Like I said, I have options, you know, it just requires taking a little risk. And uh, what's life without risk anyway, right? That's what I like about you. You never overthink things. Yeah, well, it's worked out for me so far, but it's nothing to brag about. That's better than staying on someone else's five-year plan. You probably don't even have a five-day plan, right? <laughs> nope. No, you know, you're pretty insightful for a 17-year-old. Probably one of, I don't know, three people who actually gets me. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. But uh, I'll let you know how everything turns out. Well, good luck. Thanks. Dante? What, are you coming to reconsider my offer? Yeah, I decided a nice influx of cash would work wonders for me. Okay, well, you know where I stand. You know what my deal is. I do, and I've decided I'm all in. Okay, you do understand that Jason will not be able to protect you, me, 
or anybody else against Sonny while he's in prison, right? Well, I'm aware of that. Okay. Yeah. And I'm willing to take the risk as long as I get paid. And you do <laughs> understand I'm only doing this for the cash. Well, believe me when I say there's going to be plenty of that to go around when you're done. Shall we crack open a bottle of wine or something, huh? Celebrate a little bit? <laughs> Whoa, Sonny Corinto, he's not going to know what hit him. And let me tell you, we're going to enjoy watching him fall. It's gonna get me drunk so I don't back out of your little suicide mission. Oh, sudden attack of nerves? No, I had to learn it's for alcohol. Oh, well, don't drink it on my account, pal. I didn't make it. You won't offend me. No, so I have a rule. Never turn down fine wine. Okay, then. So go ahead. Give me all the gory, grisly little details. Okay, well, I think I've been through it, but uh, I plan on taking advantage of Sonny's life and the turmoil that he's going through right now. I need a partner, and I need to know above anything else that you're committed. So whatever job you got going on at the star, it's got to take a back burner. And as I start to expand my holding, as work starts to increase for me, it will for you, you may have to quit your job altogether. Oh, you know, my main concern is increasing my own holdings. Well, you will. Confident as ever. Of course. Why don't you be straight with me? You're obviously genuinely interested, or you wouldn't be coming back to hear my pitch. So what's up? Well, it's like I said, you know, I could use the money. I understand that. That's the first reason. The second reason is honestly colossal boredom. Ever since I was 15, I've been sort of living on the edge, you know, one step ahead of the law, two steps ahead of the last mark. And then I blew into this burg and just found myself settling into a life that was much less exciting. And it just made me a target for everyone to pin crimes I didn't commit. And, uh, you know, I guess it was Faith's way of saying, get back into the game. And once you have your stake, you're gonna skip town or what? I like to keep my options open without having to steal from my old man. So yes, I am interested in this partnership. But you have to understand, I am the brains, not the brawn. You find yourself pinned down in some musty old warehouse dodging bullets, I don't know how much help I'm gonna be. Okay, well, that warehouse raid, just a blip on the radar screen. Tonight, we drive a stake through one of the arteries of Corinthos operations. 